everyone, this is me, you, and welcome to Fun Friday. Every Friday I try to do something new, fun, or challenging. Last week I did my Draw Famous Villains as Good Guys Challenge Part 2. Thank you for all your support with your likes and subscribes. Today I'm going to do a three color challenge, highlighters versus bulk point. <laughs> Today I'm going to do a three color challenge, highlighters versus ballpoint pens. So basically I'm going to do this challenge twice. First I'm going to pick three ballpoint pens blindly. And whichever three colors I pick, I'm going to use these three to color the picture I drew earlier. And then afterwards I'm going to pick three highlighters blind and then do the same. So let's see how these are going to turn out. I'm really excited. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to pick three ballpoint pens blind. Let's see which ones I'm going to come up with. This is my first one. Put it down there. Second one. This one. No idea what that is. <laughs> All right, third one. This one. Okay. Let's see which. Oh, <laughs> it's not too bad. Okay, so I have uh, like a really nice deep magenta and a pink and a brown. Okay, I think this is going to be interesting. It's been a while since I used ballpoint pens for a Fun Friday video. My last two times were in my dollar store ballpoint drawing challenge on an airplane and my school supply art challenge. This time, I need to think about how to balance the three colors to get a nice finished artwork. At first, I was thinking about making my wolf mainly brown but then I wanted to do something a little bit different, so I went with a light pink instead. In the pink fur, I left some white areas for shine I didn't want to cover the whole thing because then it'll be too dull. After a while, my hand was eh, getting sore. Ugh. Now for the dark magenta ballpoint pen. I really like how deep it is, and I think it'll bring out the pink fur quite nicely later on. Personally, I felt since two of my three ballpoint pens are very similar in color, this made the challenge even more because I had to be really careful about not making this like too pink. And as I went, I had to plan out of my mind where I should not add the pink, so I'll have enough areas for the brown later. Okay, I'm starting the brown now. I think it's perfect for the nose. Now I'm going into the crown design to break up the pink in the head. I love these little tufts of fur on the ears, and I think making them darker would make the whole artwork look better. Oh, 
For the neck fur, I wanted the brown color on the bottom of the piece. And at first I was hesitant to mix brown with pink because I didn't really know how it's going to turn out. But as I was doing this part, I think they mix very nicely. I love drawing animals and wolves are one of my favorites. In case you're new to my channel, you can see my 100 marker challenge and all the different animals I did in that big piece. The brown fur reminds me of shiny, silky hair. I loved adding some pink into the brown. As for the face, I decided to leave it mainly uncolored because I like the contrast of the white and the pink. Okay, so here's the first challenge with three ballpoint pens. Let's see how different the one with highlighters would be. Okay, now I'm gonna pick three highlighters blind. <laughs> All right. First one. Let's see, mix it up. Uh, this one. Okay. Second one. This one. And then the third one. This one. Okay. <laughs> okay, yes, I like these colors. <laughs> That's pretty cool. <laughs> so I have a lime and uh, this yellow and a pink. Yay! So I have three picked out. I knew I definitely did not want to color the main fur pink because I want these two pieces to be different. So I went with yellow as a base color first. Now that is very bright. At this point, I was planning in my mind how I would work with the other two. I knew pink would be great on its own and also as a layer on the yellow to make some kind of orange, but I didn't know how I would work with the green. Like in my school supply art challenge, I knew the highlighter artwork would have a bright pop art feel. I just didn't know how to incorporate green into the whole piece though. I also didn't know if I wanted to color the whole face in or just leave it like the one before. I guess I have to decide that as I go along. I decided to add pink into the face, but probably not the whole area. pink highlighter on the yellow makes a very nice bright orange. It's a great way to add some more detail and shading in the fur. The orange and the yellow fur makes it look so warm.
Okay, now the green highlighter. At first, I wasn't thinking of mixing the green with pink because I didn't want any dull colors, but I think green with yellow looks really nice. I wanted to get some more green in the face to break up the yellow and pink. Okay, I'm actually trying it. Mixing pink with green. As it turns out, bright green and bright pink gives a nice dark tone. I thought it was great for shading. I think the pink and green works well for darker areas. Since all my highlighters are super bright, it was really refreshing to have some areas that are darker. Eventually, I wanted to try more colors in the face. I love these kinds of first-time art challenges because I didn't know how they would turn out. It's fun to just start and then let my imagination and creativity wander, and that's why I think it makes this kind of art very special. But now, I was feeling braver with the green, and I decided to do more mixing in the face with it. And while I was at it, I went over this net with the yellow. It would make this very different from the first. Alright, here's my second piece with three highlighters. Vote in the iCard to let me know if you want these wolves in my merch shop. Our next subscriber goal is 2 million subs. Subscribe if you haven't yet to join the Fun to Draw team. And thank you for supporting Art and my Fun to Draw channel with your likes and subscribes. I'll see you every fun Friday. In case you want to check out my new art featured merchandise, clothing, and home accessories, my shop link is in the end card. You can tap or click to go right to my shop. Choose from hundreds of items, styles, and colors. Happy shopping!